This is the Oliver 80. We have converted this from an Oliver 80A to an Oliver 80B. That'd be your grass seed machine. This machine is going to do Taft seed. You got a fine wire mesh installed from Oliver on the machine. Deck has been completely rebuilt. This one has the VFD control also. Keypad, remote keypad units put underneath the machine. This is the Oliver Vibratory Blender. Brings the clean seed down to the discharge end. One of the most important things when wiring up your gravity table Make sure your fans are turning the correct direction that is indicated by your decals. Make sure your shaker shaft, because that is now split on a VFD drive and a one horse motor, is turning the same direction as your fan. Here's the Oliver 80 with the fan running. This is the fan motor. Everything will be running at once when it's all wired into the plant. I want to give you an idea of what we got here. These are your flush mount filters. Okay, I wanted to show you the Oliver 80 with a variable frequency drive. When we talk about a VFD to control the shape of the gravity table, this is what we're talking about. All gravity tables must be bolted down. We have this on this rubber pad and this metal stand just to give, it, to give you an idea. But as you can see, it needs to be bolted down solid. We're just doing this for testing purposes. The VFD allows us to use a control box and this keypad to control the speed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's going 401 revolutions per minute RPM. That allows us to speed it up with a touch of a button. Now we're at 599. Can't hardly see the lights out here. Revolutions per minute. With just the touch of the keypad, you have from 400 to 600 RPMs. The start and stop buttons are right here on the keypad. Run will start the shaker motor. Stop it. What the keypad allows us to do is control the shake and also gives us a readout of the RPM. The VFD control allows you to get rid of the mechanical speed control adjustment. Those parts always wore out. It allows you to put a motor underneath here and use a keypad to adjust it.
So you can go to maximum, you can slow it down, all with the touch of a button. That is what we talk about on a VFD controlled shake on an Oliver Gravity Table.